First up, he is the author of OMG, What the Fuck Does the Con... Well, WTF, Does the Constitution Actually Say? A Non-Boring Guide to How Our Democracy is Supposed to Work. Ben Sheehan. Ben. <laughs> Don't you get near me, I ben. won't, now, I you promise. Are... No, I'm just kidding. So, uh, listen, I'm so glad you're here, and I, I really mispronounced it. Uh, I said OMG, and then I went right to what the fuck, but it's WTF. And those letters don't even really correspond to what we think they are, although it works both ways, obviously. Oh, my God, what the fuck. Right. But it's also Ohio, Michigan, Georgia. Wisconsin, with... Texas, Florida. Because those are the key states, right? There you go. Okay. So, we have a lot in common theme-wise. We've both been on and on for a long time. I have anyway. I don't know about this problem we have in America, that you are such the perfect guest to walk us through, which is we're on the honor system. So much that we depend on has not actually been written down in law or the Constitution. And now we have someone who has no honor, puts his family in office, gets help from foreign countries, runs a business empire while he's president, things we didn't think we had to write down. Right. So, my worry now is that the Electoral College, it's not actually written down that the electors, which really elect the president, go to the guy who gets the most votes in the state, right? right. I mean, to start, it's, you only have, you know, you have 17 states that don't bind their electors, uh, including states like Pennsylvania and Georgia and Texas. So, meaning bind? Meaning make, make, make them to, uh, follow the popular vote in the state. So that's one thing that's not written down. They leave it up to the states, and that's what the Supreme Court decision earlier this year said, that it is constitutional to have uh, uh, faithless elector laws and also for states to decide not to have that. But so much of the electoral college is, is, is set in the Constitution, but a lot of the actual process that's going to happen over the next two months is set by federal law, and even the federal law that describes it, people could barely understand. Um, this Section 15, written in 1887, is, is constantly debated. It's almost unintelligible, and so my worry is if we get to this point where we have the electoral count that happens on January 6th, there's going to be disputes and it could go haywire. What is the likelihood, though, that some state, at least one state, does not send to the electoral college to meet, to actually elect the president, does not send electors that represent who won that state? You I think mean, that's a high possibility? I don't think it's a high probability, but I've thought a lot of things over the last four years didn't have a high probability that ended right. up happening. So, <laughs> well, one, um, one thing we know for sure, the one thing we know for sure is that however much Trump loses by, and look, I was not sanguine last time and I'm not this time, but this time, you know, last time I did not predict he would win, right. he would lose. This time I'm saying he will lose, but that's just the popular vote and probably the Electoral College. What I know will not happen is the next day Donald Trump saying, I congratulate Joe Biden, <laughs> and I've instructed my staff to make a smooth transition, the best man won, and this is our system. <laughs> that will never happen, right? No, it won't. That will Absolutely not happen. Not. So he'll lose big and then go apeshit about that, is right. my prediction. What will ape shit entail? Well, my worry is, is less that his ape shit and more of the people who are around him who know the system. Because what's going to happen over the next few weeks is you have, obviously, the election on November 3rd, but then you have until December 8th. If there's a, co if there's a controversy in a state or there's a recount um, or claims of male voter fraud or whatever it is, there is this opportunity for states to choose to, to, to decide a different way to appoint the electors. And as long as they act on it by December 8th, they could make it go differently from the popular vote. So we have to pay attention to our state legislators in that period um, to make sure that they follow the popular vote in the state so that we don't have a popular vote in the state that's different from the electors. That